Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Let's go ahead and play with my hair today. I am in the mood to do an OG wash and go, one that I did a very, very long time ago. My hair has dried so much, but I was doing my makeup and I kind of like re-wet it, but I got lazy like when I was wetting the front, so that's why it looks like that. Today I feel the need to revisit the first wash and go I have ever done on my channel, which is crazy because I used to swear by this wash and go. I used to post about it all the time and I haven't done it in so long. It's been about five to six years since I posted my first YouTube video on YouTube and that was my little wash and go that I'm about to do today. And so I was like, you know what? I went to Costco. What was it? Was it Costco? No, I went to BJ's the other day and I found the curl enhancing smoothie by Shea Moisture and it just brought me back all the memories of how much I love this product and how often I used to use it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna revisit it today. We're gonna do it together and just see what kind of curls I get and my results. Since again, it's been so long since I've done this routine. So I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I actually found this really huge size, which is nice. So that means I can repeat this routine a few times. And then I have the Eco Styler Gel, the Olive Oil one, cause I still haven't purchased the Argan Oil one, which is the one I prefer, but we're gonna try it with the Olive Oil one for today. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by sectioning my hair. This is what I used to do and what I still do. I started it since day one, have not changed it because my results have always been great when I section versus when I just slap the product in my hair. And I'm gonna start off by just spritzing my hair. I always, always use to style my hair with my hair, a lot of my hairs, but I always use to style my hair with my hair soaking wet. Haven't done that in a very long time. I've been drying my hair a more damp hair just to cut down on my drying time so I am gonna do how I used to do it which was styling my hair dripping wet I always got really good results when I did that so we're just recreating my wash and go from five years ago I'm gonna go in with the curl enhancing smoothie <sighs> just brings all of the feels of when I used to do my hair and I swore by Shea Moisture like Shea Moisture comment down below if Shea Moisture was an OG product for you when you first became natural because it definitely was for me I love this and it's just such a great product that I just feel like every curly girl used it while they were transitioning I have my Denman brush here this is a white seven roll Denman brush love the Denman brush started using the Denman brush since day one and have never put it down ever since I noticed a tremendous difference in my curls when I styled it with the Denman brush or just a brush in general I just prefer the Denman brush but a brush in general just changes the results versus you just doing it with your hands so I definitely love 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 using a Denman brush and now I am just coating my hair with the olive oil eco styler gel and I used to really really make sure it's in there and I still kind of do just depends I haven't styled with eco gel I feel like in a while but it's such a good gel as well and affordable. I used to do chunkier sections back then, definitely, but now I kind of know that it's easier to do it with thinner sections just so that I don't have to spend 10 hours separating. I used to spend so much time separating my curls and so now what I do is I just break up the sections in half and I get more like separated curls, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch. Wow, this feels very thick and producty. Oh Lord. My drying time is gonna be crazy. This is a lot of product. It's been a while since I felt this many product in my hair, but I'm sure my curls are gonna be extra popping. Although the styling technique of my wash and goes have remained the same over the past few years, I will say that I have definitely been more open to trying less product, to doing my hair not soaking wet, which was something I always did. But it's nice to just revisit how I used to do it, you know, way back when, when I first started. A lot of people, when they style their hair soaking wet, it's easier for them to do in the shower, which of course makes the most sense. But I was never that type of person. Like I will legit make a whole mess in my bathroom and then just mop it up after. <laughs> with the squirting and the scrunching and the, you know, making sure the curls were really, really moisturized. And then I would just take care of the mess after. <laughs> this is probably the earliest I've ever filmed a video. I'm not used to it. It's nine in the morning right now. 
I used to film my videos so late at night as well and that is something that I am changing which is so crazy I feel like I'm growing up like I know I'm all adult but sometimes I still feel like I'm still growing up you know and so me like filming this so early in the morning is growth for me because I I'm not a morning person, but I'm trying to become one. Okay, look how beautiful these curls look. Wow, literally not a frizz in sight. I think I could scrunch this side up a little bit more because this side was a little too short. I will say, I know for a fact, I'm gonna have a lot of shrinkage for this wash and go. So be ready because I am gonna be wet plopping for like two to three hours. And it's only because I really wanted to film this video now early in the morning, but I have a lot of stuff to do around the house and my parents are gonna come over. So I just, I have no choice but to wet plop so that I don't mess up my hair. Cause if I dry it and then start moving things around, I feel like I'm gonna mess up my hair. It's just the smell of the curl enhancing smoothie that takes me back. Like, like all the way back to my transitioning days because I love Shea Moisture. Like Shea Moisture was one of the brands that I used when I first started transitioning because I used to watch Sunkiss Alba. She was my like biggest inspiration. She was Dominican. Well, she is Dominican. She's Dominican and her curls were so beautiful. And she was the one that inspired me, you guys, to go natural because she's the only person I saw that looked like me that had curly hair, like naturally curly hair. Honestly, I didn't even know I had curly hair. I didn't even know like about curly hair. I knew nothing like I always had my hair straightened all the time Like that's just what I knew and when I saw Alba's video I was like, oh my god her hair is so like I've never seen anything like this before and then I was like Oh my god, like I wonder if I could do this too Like I wonder if my hair could do this and so that's when I like stopped the heat I was watching her videos and she used to use Shea Moisture a lot She's always been into like really clean ingredients and so she always used Shea Moisture and like I followed her whole like journey and routines and stuff and I was obsessed with Shea Moisture because that's the only brand that I like knew that would work for curly hair and so just like inhaling this brings me back to those days where Shea Moisture was all I knew and all I used. Two things, comment below how long ago it's been since you've been natural and two, comment below what was your first brand that you were introduced to while you were natural, when you first became natural. I would love to know, like what are the OG brands that are still around and probably still popping? Like, I don't know, is Shea Moisture still popping? I haven't really followed up with them, but let me know. I feel like we're having a little bit of beading, just a little bit. It could be the foundation. Could be the gel. I don't know. We'll figure it out. why I decided to style my hair like that. Like the front part, I usually do it towards my face. <sighs> Hopefully it dries nice. <laughs> Hopefully, I hope so. I mean, I'm gonna diffuse. Excuse the noise, Mia decide, decided to get his loudest toy. But I'm just putting more eco style gel here in the front because I want it to be really smooth. It looks kind of white, but that's not a problem. It's gonna go away, but can we just acknowledge the curls? The curls look so good. They look shiny, they look healthy, they look frizz free. Hello, I mean, by the looks of it, these products still work and the combination looks like it still works. So I'm gonna go ahead, wet plop for a little bit. If you guys have any questions on what wet plopping is, I did a whole entire video on it, so I will link it down below for you guys so you guys can look at it in action, see what it is, why I do it. But I'm gonna go ahead, wet plop for an extensive time and then I'll come back and then I'll diffuse on camera with you guys because I always diffuse, I never air dried, especially when I was transitioning, diffusing works in your favor because it defines your curls and it gives you more volume. So I am going to diffuse. I will do that briefly with you guys on camera so you can see like the drying process, but this is what my hair looks like right now. I love it.
results. Are you kidding me? Now I remember why I loved doing this combination. I can't believe I haven't done it in so long. Hello, I was totally missing out. Are you kidding me? I mean, the curls just feel so moisturized. They look so shiny. I didn't add any oil to my hair. So this is strictly what I got out of using these two products. Nothing additional, but wow. Are we seeing the same thing? O sea, hello, this looks amazing and i can't comprehend why it took me so long to redo this wash and go routine because clearly my curls still love this combination five years later and i i love it too like honestly hands down i don't care about shrinkage shrinkage i really don't care i do care about definition though that is just my thing i like to look at my hair and make sure that every little teeny eeny weeny curl is like perfectly curled and it doesn't have frizz i don't care how short my hair looks i don't really care but i this is my go-to like last year i was definitely exploring different styling techni techniques and using less product and less water but this is where I started and I freaking love this whole entire look. Now, of course, I'm still gonna be doing other routines and trying new things because it's just fun. But if I were to pick any wash and go, it would be this one. I love definition. I love how soft my hair feels. I love how it has all of the like flexibility. It's not stiff despite the amount of gel that I did use. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of days out of this wash and go, which is always a plus. Sometimes when I do those more like fluffier wash and goes, I don't get past day two. And with this one, I know that if I preserve it in a bonnet and you know, do everything that I need to, I can preserve this for a full week, which is great, especially if you're like a busy person or a mom or you know, you don't wanna be worrying about your hair for the next few days. You should try this combination. It's an OG one. I forgot about the curl enhancing smoothie and now I just brought it back up and I love it. I wanna try it out with different gels because it's just such a moisturizing styling cream. You don't even need a leave-in conditioner. You don't need to add anything else like an oil. Literally like you can just use this as your leave-in and styler. And I believe you can even use this by itself. I should try it though in a vlog, but I know with a gel, clearly we can both see that it pairs really well with a gel so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below are you going to be revisiting some of your old like products that you have in your stash or some products that you like swore by when you first came natural and now because of all the new releases maybe you forgot about something that always worked for you let me know if you're gonna try it and what that product is because i want to know if i remember it and if it still works in my hair like it's nice to try new things but sometimes the ogs are ogs for a reason you know and for me this is a staple this is a holy grail i freaking love it so we're bringing the curling hunting smoothie back in 2022 because you need it it's great and eco gel is just timeless i mean it's just something i've personally always loved that is all for today's video if you guys enjoy this style of video make sure you give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below of what product you guys have been loving that was an og product and now that you saw this video did it like remind you of a product that you swore by back in the day let me know in the comments down below because i love to know and i'll link all of these products in the description box and everything that i use in this video i will link it down below for you guys if you have any questions or anything like that make sure you always Please leave me a comment because I respond to every single comment at least I try to so chat with me there and I'll see you guys in the next one Mwah. bye